Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since I've done a video, um, which is very contrary to what I said would happen at the beginning of the year, but I just haven't had anything to film. Uh, I've got a couple of projects in mind, but yeah, to, to be honest, I kind of don't want to always do the same thing, which is what I'm doing now, which is just unboxing and testing. I do want to kind of go into more um, like bigger stuff, more inspired stuff. But, let's get into some unboxing and testing. So, this is the Bissell Spot Clean Automate. I've had my eyes on one of these for a while, or should I more specifically say, my wife has had her eyes on these for a while. Now, if you've ever had to rent one of these things, like the bigger, more industrial one, they cost about 200 bucks. These usually retail for about 260. This, I picked up on special at Super Cheap for around 190, 180 dollars. I'll, um, I'll bring up the official price on the screen. Now, that's a massive deal I couldn't just pass up. Um, so let's get into unboxing this thing. I've had it for about a week now. It comes with a two-year warranty, which is great. Um, and apparently it's the uh, new model with the extended hose, which is funny because usually my hose likes it when I extend. So it's usually the other way around. As I say with my pink pair of scissors. Okay, so we got a cool little gnarly little brush. Um, got some sort of handle thing. I will be putting this together off camera because seems like a jigsaw puzzle I've ever seen one. This looks like the thing you just put on and you never take off. This looks pretty cool. So essentially, keep desired cleaning face down, twist head for design cleaning. Okay, so whatever's down is what you're cleaning with. So you've got three different little cleaning heads. So that does nothing. It's just one brush, so it'd probably be probably mainly on this one. And all right, so we got more handly stuff. Got nothing there. It does come with some boost enhancer. I bought some as well. So this is Oxy Boost. They didn't have Boost, Oxy, or Spot Stain when I went and bought this next to it. Then they had Oxy Boost. But you get a little sample pack. So imagine why this is so cheap, so they can sell you as much of that as possible. And this is the actual unit itself. It actually looks quite nice. Uh, it looks like you're a little on off. You got a little assembly guide. It so you're not just guessing right there, which is great. Alright, so the hose was smaller than this at any point. I could see why they had to launch a new model of an extended hose. Uh, quite a long cord on it though. And you get a proper manual as well. Oh, and they have their own YouTube. Which is great, and parts, apparently. So... Awesome. Well, let's put this together and then we'll go for using the tool in a sec. I'll be doing a full clean in this video of my car, so one of my cars. Not that I'm bloody Jay Z or anything, but yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so as you can see, guys, it's pretty grotty in here. So, what I'm going to be doing first is hitting it with just a basic vacuum. Um, hitting it with the Armor All Protect. And then we're going to be hitting it with the Bissell. So all that stuff will be off camera, but the Bissell will be on camera. Alright guys, I've just finished vacuuming it with a wet vac. Um, and I'm going to show you the main opponent. So I'm probably going to videotape a bit of this and that. But it's pretty hard. This is the sort of thing I want to rem remove. There's just sort of nasty shit that happens when you have a kid. There's nothing you can really do about it. 
You want to be that guy who's like, oh, you can't eat food in my 10-year-old car. It is what it is, you know? Um, but yeah. Let's see how it shapes up against this stain. And this is stains on stains on stains. I've tried vacuuming it out before with a wet vac. Um, have you seen my How to Clean a Couch video? Pretty much the same thing. But yeah. I like what I see. I like what I see. So pretty simple. So there's one that says dirty and one that says clean. Um, so you see how it says clean there? So you obviously fill this one up. You're going to make sure the water gets hot first before you start filling it up. But they even give you little markers, which is nice. So I'm going to fill this bit up with water, hot water. Fill that with the formula and then chuck a bit of boost. All right, guys, I actually hit that with like the Bissell Spot and Stain, Oxy, and Oxy Boost. So it's mainly this. So let's start cleaning. All right, this is the amount of ass, juice, and human slime pulled out of the two front seats alone. The two front seats, the door, and the passenger floor. I didn't even get to the driver's side floor. So this is done. This is halfway done. I'm going to might hit it again, just because this is the seat that sees the most ass. Don't mind that. That's a bit of a fuck up on my part, but I'm going to clean it anyway. Put the, put the dash back over it. Um, but yeah, have a look at that, eh? Guys, this is how much ass juice I've pulled out of the car so far. It's a lot. But we can do better. I didn't even film this stain because I didn't think the boost was going to make a difference. But it's 80% gone. This stuff right here is called permanent permanent stain removal. We're going to hit it one more time. One more time. Q Daft Punk. The smallest bit of this. A dab of this. And a shitload of this. To a small tank and then we're going to see if we can get rid of it. Alright guys, so in short, this actually did a lot better than I thought it would, and in the past it's actually done better than the rental vacuums. I think just because you got more time with it and stuff, but you know, uh, I'm going to have to rate this 9 out of 10. It lifted some stands I didn't think it would, and for the price I can't complain.